To get the most out of this video, you'll need to know a little bit about three-dimensional geometry. A hyperbolic paraboloid is a type of surface that looks like a horse's saddle or like a Pringle chip. And the curvature of these surfaces makes them pretty tricky to draw by hand. But in this video, we're gonna figure out how to do exactly that. Hey, welcome back. My name is Drew, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a hyperbolic paraboloid. Now, a few months ago, I posted a video about some sketching tips in general. Make sure you check that out too, because we're gonna use some of the tips from that video to make our sketches in this one look good. All right, here we go. First of all, what is a hyperbolic paraboloid? Well, it's a surface, meaning it's a two-dimensional object that we typically draw in three-dimensional space. And mathematically, we can represent one of these with an equation like z equals y squared minus x squared. Before we get into drawing, I need to point out some mathematical facts about our friend, the hyperbolic paraboloid. And yes, I said this was gonna be a video about drawing, and here I am about to talk about math for a while, but bear with me, it'll be worth it. One of the best ways to understand what a surface in three-dimensional space looks like is to look at its cross-sections. And by cross-sections, I mean the curves you get if you intersect the surface with a plane. So if we intersect a hyperbolic paraboloid with horizontal planes, then the intersections are curves that look like this. These curves are hyperbolas. On the other hand, if we look at the intersection of our surface with vertical planes, then we get parabolas. Notice here that we get an upwards cupping parabola or a downwards cupping parabola based on whether we choose a plane that's parallel to the yz plane or the xz plane. So some of the cross sections are hyperbolas and some are parabolas, hence the name hyperbolic paraboloid. So my strategy for drawing one of these things is to pay attention to some of the cross sections. We're going to use the vertical cross section with the yz plane, the cross section with the xz plane, and then a horizontal cross section above the xy plane and a horizontal cross section below the xy plane. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start by drawing that upwards parabola. And then I'm gonna draw the downwards parabola. And half of this curve is going to be behind the surface in the end. So I'm drawing that part with a dotted line. Next, the upper hyperbola in green. This one's kind of tough because of the perspective, but it doesn't have to be perfect. But do make sure that the, uh, the curvy part of each hyperbola touches the ends of your upwards parabola. Next, the hyperbola on the bottom. The part that's closest to you should look like this. And it should touch the bottom of your downwards parabola. And the part that's further away, it's gonna be dotted because it's behind the surface. And again, it should just touch the back part of your downwards parabola. So that's sort of the skeleton. To finish up, we're gonna draw four vertical lines that connect the ends of the upper and lower hyperbolas. And then the last thing I'll do is make sure that every line that's behind the surface is dotted and every line that's not behind the surface is not dotted. Okay, let's do it again for practice. We draw the upwards parabola and then the downwards parabola, the hyperbola on the top, the hyperbola on the bottom, and then some extra edges to connect things up. Oh, and remember from my sketching video, if you want to draw this with axes, draw the surface first and then add in the axes afterwards. It'll just turn out better that way. So that's how I draw hyperbolic paraboloids, and now you can too. As with any skill, it'll get better with practice. So take some time to draw your own hyperbolic paraboloids if that's something you want to improve. If you have any questions or if you want another video on sketching anything in particular, let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more fun math content. Thanks for playing along and I'll see you in the next video.